Recessions do not exist for real estate agents. If you're worried about the current situation that we're in, I'm gonna link a video below that I made about a year ago about how recessions do not exist for real estate agents. But today I wanna to talk about Zillow. Will Zillow survive this situation? Now I've been talking about this for years as well. There's actually two things I've been talking about with this subject. It is their, their iBuyer business where they're buying homes and selling those homes and also that where they're selling leads to real estate agents. Both of these businesses, I believed, and I've believed for a long time, that could be completely compromised by a market downturn, like the one that we're in currently. You see, the purpose of their iBuyer business was to buy homes at a discount and resell them for a profit. The problem is, is that they were selling them on average for a loss, okay? And so as they're buying properties and buying more and more properties, if the market were to downturn at all and they're holding a lot of these properties that they're already taking a loss on, what is that going to do to them? Okay, so here recently, about a week ago, Zillow came out and said that they're not going to buy any more homes right now. What does that tell you? It tells you that they're in trouble. And I wish they would have seen this coming. I wish that they would have been a little more mindful on, okay, if we're taking a loss on every house that we buy and the market is just going up and up and up and up for the last decade, it's bound to go down at some point. Why would we put ourselves in a position where we own a lot of homes we're taking a loss on and then if the market decides to take a downturn, then we're absolutely upside down. I didn't really understand that philosophy, to be honest with you, but hey, they're Zillow and they do what they wanna do. Something else I've been talking about for a really long time is their business with selling leads to real estate agents. Okay, so this was more so for the agents that are buying the leads. And I've always said that you're buying these expensive leads, it makes no sense. You're paying several hundred dollars for uh, someone that you could, a random person in your market that you could have met at Walmart or a gas station, right? It's just a random person, you know, no idea what their intentions are, what's going on. Now, there are some agents that, that do well with Zillow, okay? But I still just believe it's one of the most ineffective things you can do in your business, okay? Talking to property owners that contact information you buy for less than two cents, Okay, all day long, unlimited supply, you call them all day, is the most effective thing you can do. These are your best, most efficient clients. They already own the type of property you want to sell. But what I always talked about was the fact that if we had a market downturn and you have these agents that are buying all these leads, those leads are going to dry up. And now your business was 100% dependent on the leads that you're buying from these companies, Zillow, Realtor.com, all these different companies. Your, your business is dependent on someone providing you leads. All right, that's not a good situation to be in if the market takes a downturn and all the leads dry up. You have to be in a position where you can create your own leads. You have to be in a position where you have an unlimited amount of quality leads at all times, regardless of what the market does, at the lowest price possible. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I've been talking about these exact things for years and years and years now, and here we are. Everything's kind of coming to fruition. What I want you to do is be happy for yourself if you're in position to take this crash on. And if you weren't in position, what I want you to do is I want you to take note and I want you to rearrange your business and use this moment in time as a place of restructuring. Okay, create a new foundation moving forward. Will Zillow survive this situation? I'm sure they will. They're a master at losing money and continuing to be in business. Either way it goes, I'm gonna be right here doing what I've always been doing is trying to prepare you for these kind of situations and doing everything I can do to bring you as much value for absolutely zero money. All I want in return is for you to take something I say and get out there and succeed. So click that link for the next video, Recessions Do Not Exist for Real Estate Agents, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go.